What's up weirdos and welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia and I hope you're having the spookiest of holiday season and today we're talking about the Sabrina Christmas special featured on Netflix. Oh oh how I loved it. I had all the Yuletide spooks I wanted and it was just sort of like a cute and cozy tale. It did a really nice thing of being very holiday themed of course and also bridging the gap between the first season and the second season coming in April of 2019. Because of that I will say if you're not caught up on the series I wouldn't recommend watching this yet because I think it will probably just be confusing but you do you. There are a few plot lines weaving in and out of this episode, but the main one is that Sabrina wants to have a seance to contact her mother who is stuck in limbo, and she does this over the winter solstice because that is the time when the witches' houses are more susceptible to spirits coming in. Um, they also feature a yuletide log that is supposed to stay lit to keep the spirits out, and of course at some point it goes out. Because this is a Christmas special and not like a full movie, I'm not going to do my normal ratings, I'm just going to sort of talk about the things that I like and am interested in. So this is going to have a lot of spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, first I want to mention a side plot that I really, really loved, and that was that Sabrina's friend Susie is working as an elf at a Santa, like, mall situation thing, and this Santa is actually a Santa demon who collects children and turns them into wax children, and it's just like a really fun side plot. The Santa demon is really kind of actually scary, and it's nice to have Susie and Sabrina's other friend Rosalind have something to do in this episode, and overall it's good. The next thing I want to spend some time on is that this Christmas episode pulls from a lot of ancient legends and folklore, which I think is really, really cool. The first one a lot of people know as the Judgment of Solomon, so basically Zelda, which we found out at the end of the last season, has kept Father Blackwood's baby to raise as her own, to protect her, and when the Yuletide law goes out, um, the house is infiltrated with these Yule children, I think they're called, they might be called something else, but I think it was Yule children, and Gryla, this demon who is like all of their mother comes, and because this child is not technically Zelda's, Gryla wants to claim the child for her own. So they decide to lay a circle of black sand, put the child in the middle, Zelda and Gryla both take an arm, and they're supposed to pull to see who is going to have the child. In the legend, as it comes up in many cultures, it's always the rightful mother, of course, lets go because she doesn't want to tear the child in half, and she cares more about the well-being of the child than raising the child herself. In the actual Judgment of Solomon version, it's that they're going to cut the baby in half so each mother gets to have half of the child, um, and of course the rightful mother is like, no, 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 I'd rather her raise the child than have my child cut in half, and that's how they know that she's the real mother. So back in Sabrina land, of course Zelda lets go because she cares more about the well-being of the child, and Gryla wins the child, and this leads us into the next bit of folklore, and that is the one of the changeling. So Gryla leaves with the baby and Zelda is of course crushed and Sabrina's like don't worry Zelda that's not even the baby that's just a teddy bear that I have enchanted to look like the baby and the actual baby is just downstairs. Changelings are seen in almost all European folklore uh, and it's normally that fairies kidnap a human child and then send a fairy back in its place looking like the child the family has lost and it's normally a evil fairy or one that plays tricks etc etc. Back at Sabrina, Gryla is already far into the forest and it's very close to dawn before she realizes she's actually just carrying a teddy bear. So Zelda gets to keep Father Blackwood's baby for now, but we'll find out more in season two, I'm sure. And the last one I noticed, and of course if you noticed other ones, please comment them down below, but the last one that I noticed was the baby in the oven thing, which of course is from Hansel and Gretel, where the witch wants to cook the children in the oven to eat them and Gretel eventually pushes the witch into the oven and cooks her, blah blah blah, but in Sabrina they find the baby in the oven and it was already preheating, whoops, but they do save it just in time. So those are all the things I love and I'll add that I just love the Spellman house. It is so cozy and warm and like the decor is just like so good and then of course Hilda's like cooking every possible Christmas goodie in the kitchen and it just has like a really warm and cozy feel to it. Oh oh and I guess I'll ask that. In this episode, Sabrina does also try to get Harvey back with magic the dum-dum. Obviously, he wouldn't like that. He hates magic, but whatever. But as you know, I'm not a huge fan of Harvey anyway, so if he can't accept her for who she is, good riddance. Am I right? All right, and have a nice scream. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!